Good evening from Magnus Arena, home of the national champion Denver Pioneers. This is the Colorado High School 5A Hockey Championship game. Tonight, George Gwazdecki's Valor Christian Eagles look to win their 20th game in a row and their third title in four years. To do so, they will need to be the only team to defeat them this season, Ralston Valley. For Arvada's Ralston Valley, it's been nine long years since 2014's back-to-back -back state championship titles. The Mustangs, under first-year head coach Nick Spinner, have run the gauntlet, winning 10 of their last 11, including an overtime thriller over defending state and national champion Denver East. I'm Manny Furtado for Shaw Hockey Productions. Glad to have you on board for tonight's 5A championship game. Valor comes in as the home designated team in the top seed in the tournament. They're wearing their home whites trimmed out in baby blue and gold with the eagle on the crest of their chest. For the Mustangs, they come in in their dark blue jerseys trimmed out with light blue as well and with the name Mustangs scrawled across the, uh, across the chest. So for Valor, they come in under head coach George Gwazdecki. He's got Adrian Wiedemann on his bench with him, along with Ian Glupker, Sean Capel, and Jeff Martin. For, for the Eagles, in goal will be Cooper Robinson. He's number one. He's backed up by Trudeau Coffey, number 33. And the lines look like this. The top line, Noah Fekete, number 20, the center. Flanked by Henry Barnes, number 27 on the right, and Maddox Charles, the freshman, number 23 on the left. Second line, Garrett Company, number nine, has Alec Alfieri, number 12, to his right, Brooks Wright, number 15, to his left. Owen Walsh is number 14 on that head, centers that, top, that third line. And number 18 is Ben Larson to his right, number 17, Daniel Galushko. And then the two wingers is Carter Charles number 16 and Andrew Jenkins number 24. Valor will play with seven defensemen. They look like this. Top line Simon Tarosian number six is paired up with senior defenseman eight and Owen number seven. Number 25 Chase Whitmore is paired up with Nicholas Morona number 11 and Jeremy Muir number 10 is teamed up with Mark Ladwig. Edward Chen is the extra defenseman. And for Ralston Valley, it's first year head coach Nick Spinder. Nick Spinder has Caleb Bartholomew in goal. He's number 33. He's backed up by number 30, John Hickman. And for the lineup looks like this. For the top line is centered by number 92, Cole Frankie. Number 11 is Devin Strong to the left-hand side. Tyler Strong is number 61 to the left-hand side. And the second line, Tyler Shones, number 95, has Carson Petz, number 66, to his left, and Zachary Palak, number 38, on the right-hand side. Blaine Keller is number 13, as he centers the third line. He has Chris Homer, number 45, to his right-hand side, and Nicholas Clark is number nine to the left-hand side. Gabriel Kennedy is number 21, the centerman on that fourth line, along with Mario Rodriguez, number eight, to his right, and Dylan Paul Harbor, number 23. The defense looks like this. Cool. Is Savo Cole, number 67. He is teamed up with Nikita Alexiev, number seven. Number 36 is Daniel Andrade. He is number 36, along with Spencer LaGrange, number 91, and Dylan Sincheff is number 87. Number, and he is teamed up with Max Newmar, number 81. And that's how they look here this evening. Valor comes in loaded with seniors. And as you look at their forwards, they have, they have seven seniors with Noah Fekete, Henry Barnes, Brooks Wright, Garrett Coveney, Alec Effieri, Owen Walsh, and Ben Larson. And on the blue line, as five of the seven defense are seniors. Simon Tarosian, Aiden Owen, Chase Whitmore, Nicholas Morona, and Jeremy Muir. As for Nick Spinder, he has eight seniors on this team. Is Nikita Alexiev, Nicholas Clark, Devin Strong, and Blaine Keller, Dylan Fall Harbor, and Chris Homer, as well as Savo Cole, number 67, 
Mitchell, excuse me, Spencer LaGrange is a senior as well. So we are just about ready for the action here. The two teams have completed their warm-ups as we have the Mustangs to our left-hand side. And they are now being introduced and starting out, Nikita Alexiev, number seven. And he's out there as he's, he joins Caleb Bartholomew. And on the opposite side, Devin and Tyler Strong, respectively. Devin is number 11, and Tyler Strong is number 61. And sub as uh, Sava Cole, as well as number 92 is out there, and that's Cole Frankie. Cole Frankie will head up that top line. So we're good. We're good. And we have Cooper Robinson. Cooper Robinson is a junior. He comes in with a 1.84 goals against average, 0.91 save percentage. He's number one. And as a junior, he has backstopped this team to his third consecutive state championship appearance. Simon Terosia, number six, along with Aiden Owen, number seven. And then Brooks Wright, number 15. Garrett Coveney, number nine. And Alec Alfieri, number 12, join the rest, and the rest of the players join at the blue line for our national anthem as we pause for the singing of our national anthem. from Magnus Arena. This is the 5A State Hockey Championship with Valor versus Ralston Valley. Valor is ready to go as they finish their pregame skate. The Mustangs break from Nick Spinder's huddle and they're ready to go as we've got Caleb Bartholomew to our left and Cooper Robinson to our right. Valor looking for their third title in four years. They look to avenge their only home loss, or their only loss, the first game of the year versus this same Ralston Valley team. I'm Manny Furtado for Shaw Hockey. We're ready for puck drop. 17 minutes up on the clock as Cole Frankie lines up versus Garrett Kevney. And we are underway in this championship game. As Tarosian takes the puck back and moves it back over into the far side for Valor. 
as the Mustangs apply some pressure and they're able to steal the puck as they put it back behind Robinson's cage. It's moved back over to the near side in the first check of the game from Cole Savo. Savo picks up the puck right in front. He had a golden opportunity. Has the puck again over on the far side as he gets spun off the puck by Alfieri and Cubney's got it. Cubney back over to as a backhand pass and a no-look feed. It's picked off by the Mustangs. The Mustangs bring it back at the tail end of a line change. They take a long shot and the puck ricochets out Back out to the Valor blue line. It's Alfieri with the puck. As he's at the end of a shift as he takes it in and Bartholomew swipes it back over to the far side corner boards. Fekete unable to control the puck and streaking out of the Mustang zone and moving it down the right-hand side, but Whitmore is going to get to it as it's an icing call. And we've got the game's first break. We're at the 15.53 mark of this 17-minute first period. And so setting up to the right of Bartholomew is Noah Fekete. This is one of the top lines out there for Coach George Gwazdecki. They actually brought in 24 goals this season. As that second line with Coveney had 27, but this would be considered one of their top two lines here. As the long pass gets deflected, and the puck is picked back up by Henry Barnes. Barnes looks to get it out of the Valor zone, but it's poked in deep. As Cooper Robinson watches, chasing it down into the near side, into the corner is Zachary Pallack. Pallack gave it up as it's hoisted back out to center, and Valor brings it in, but it's offsides. As Noah Fekete walked in, Henry Barnes was crisscrossing him and just got ahead of the play there. So, face off. We'll come to our near side, just outside of the Mustangs blue line. The Ralston Valley Mustangs hail from Arvada as Valor Christian is in Highlands Ranch. And the Mustangs off the faceoff, bank it the distance and the angles off and we're gonna got another icing call here. So we'll come back deep into the Mustangs territory to the left of Caleb Bartholomew. As I mentioned, Bartholomew came in with a 2.46 goals against average this season. Nine. A .918 save percentage. He's been solid. He's shared a lot of the duty, though, with John Hickman. Number 30. And off the faceoff. Puck is jammed at as Larson feeds it back down to Walsh. And Walsh is, brings it back up the near side half boards, controlling. As the puck poked free, Walsh has got it in the slot, but he takes a shot up and over the cage. Walsh tracks down the puck over on the far side, gives a reverse check. Another shot, a second shot as Galushko gets a third shot in on Bartholomew. Walsh with the puck in the slot. His shot deadened at that point, and the puck is poked back out to center. Lagwood brings it back in and fires it in for Valor back behind the Mustangs' cage. Back over on the far side, and the loose puck looking to pick it up is Walsh. He's still out there doing yeoman's work, and Walsh, Tries to poke it free, and it pokes back over to the far side half boards. Simon Terosian races in to pick up the puck and ties up his man. Meanwhile, Galushko goes down and battles a couple of Mustangs, including Alexia down on the low side. The shot from Terosian whistles wide and over on the near side. Aiden Owen keeps it alive for Valor. Valor executes a line change in the offensive zone, and the Mustangs are able to get the puck out and get some breathing room. Long pass back up through center. Jenkins has it and hands it off to Aiden Owen. Aiden Owen for Valor, brings it in, takes the shot back behind the cage. The loose puck, Noah Fekete. The senior centerman tracks it down, but can't handle it. And the puck comes back out to center where Aiden Owen floats one back over to the Mustangs' blue light. It's on the stick of Carter Charles. Back over to Jenkins. Jenkins over on the far side, hands it off to Aiden Owen and back behind the cage. Tracking it down is Newmar. As Newmar tries to move it up and out, but Terosian keeps it alive and in the zone for Valor. Back over on the far side corner, Carter Charles pass deflected and the puck poked back out to center. Aiden Owen tracks it back down in the Valor zone and a soft backhander as he moves it back over to the near side. Carter Charles looking up ice, sends it back through center, it gets past Savo Cole and Cole behind the Valor or the Mustang zone gives it away and Alfieri's shot is deflected up and into the netting, no harm. 
We're at the 13.06 mark of this scoreless first period. Valor and the Mustangs, and thus far, Valor's control play, but the Mustangs have had the best shot of the game, as that was Cole Frankie, who had five goals in the regular season. Get a couple of tallies in that contest versus Denver East to send this team to this championship game. No look pass right in front as Coveney was lurking as Alfieri tries to get him that puck. And from the blue line, Valor continues to try to keep it in, but the puck is picked up by Tyler Strong. A long pass gets beyond Cole Frankie. And one more time, RV ices the puck. So Valor keeping on some good pressure. George Gwazdecki looks from a familiar bench. He spent 19 season, seasons as the head coach of the DU Pioneers, winning two national championships, and he has a familiar face next to him, and that is Adrian Wiedemann, who was uh, on that same bench winning those national championships for the University of Denver. Back to the live action. Kovny shot scores! Kovny scores as he got a pass from the corner. Put it past Bartholomew. And Valor leads 1-0 early in this first period. Garrett Kovny, who had 10 goals during the regular season, scores and makes it 1-0 as Valor strikes first in this championship game. And you get a good look at it as Kovny slap shot. He called for it up high. Alfieri put it on his blade, and the shot goes stick side low and beats Bartholomew 1-0. And so Garrett Kevney, who started out this game, and that line, as I mentioned, produced 27 goals, the most goals for Coach George Gwazdecki's team here this season. And they really have have uh, worked well together over the past two seasons. That's Kovney along with Alfieri and Brooks Wright, and it is 1-0. And Morona gets an assist as well on the goal. And we are back as Mustangs rifle in the puck as it rolls around over to the far side. Newmar, the defenseman, is there, puts it back along the wall. And it's recovered there as it is picked up by Jones. Jones has the puck stripped off his stick. And walking out is, 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 and the puck over on the far side. Barnes tried to pass that through to Fekete, but wasn't able to hit the mark. And the long pass by the Mustangs out of the zone is picked off by Valor one more time. Soft pass in and given chase is Maddox Charles, the, for, the freshman. Maddox Charles works it back behind the cage, banks it off the boards over on the far side. Ain't no one with it. The shot deadened right in front of Bartholomew. Puck is cleaned out and moving the puck back over is Jones. Jones sends it back in and Aiden Owen has time. And we have a the game's first whistle. And so Ralston Valley is going to get the first power play of the game. And it's Ben Larson for a holding call. So Larson at the 11-13 mark takes a hold. And so the Mustangs have a golden opportunity as they set up in front of the in front of Valor's home or uh, home fans there, all dressed in white. As work trying to work the puck in was Cole. Cole is stymied at the blue line. Sends a backhander back behind Cooper Robinson. Robinson holds for Muir. Here, fishes it around over on the far side, swatted up by Fekete and back out to center. Working it back in was Tyler Strong. Strong standing guard on the near side. Meanwhile, the puck over on the far side, Devin Strong, his brother, puts it back behind the cage and working it up the near side as Cole Frankie puts a puck on and it has gobbled up there by Cooper Robinson. See Frankie, why he's so dangerous. He had that puck in the slot and he just Got a piece of it, got enough of it to get it to Cooper Robinson's cage. So Robinson having a conversation with the referee, readies himself for a face-off to his right-hand side. And taking this face-off was Owen Walsh. The puck has sent the distance. And with 113 remaining in the power play, the Mustangs rev it up back behind Bartholomew's cage and work it back through center as they look to take the zone. 
Aiden Owen chases back. As Brooks Wright is there as two, punches it back over to the near side, and Shones has it. Tyler Shones trying to work off the wall. Tarosian challenges him. Walsh feeds the puck back over, and Brooks Wright clears the zone. Bartholomew sets up for Newmar. And Newmar hands it off, and working up the near side is Gabriel Kennedy. Kennedy puts it in, and again, Aiden Owen gets to it first. Wraps it around the boards over on the far side, trying to hold the puck in there was Betts. Fish back to Aiden Owen, and now Owen flies one the distance. As the Mustangs have been unable to set up in the offensive zone in this power play, they've got 20 seconds to do so as they move the puck over to Savo Cole over on the far side. Cole chops at it, puts it right on target, and Cooper Robinson holds there, giving RV a offensive zone faceoff with 10 seconds remaining in the power play. Robinson didn't have anybody in front of him, including his defenseman, so he hung on to that puck. So now he's got a face-off to his right-hand side. Valor leads 1-0. We're at the 9.23 mark of this first period. And stepping in is Mario Rodriguez for RV, and he wins this face-off. Cole wraps it around the boards, and it rattles back over to the near side. Along the Zam corner, back up to the point. Strong holds it there. And Tyler Strong steps in as he's shouldered off the puck by Henry Barnes. And the puck back up against the end wall. And battle ensues there. Looking for the puck. And it's stolen away from Jeremy Muir, who tips it back over to Larson. Looks for the give and go. But Cole's got it for the Mustangs. And sends it around back over to the near side. Coming away with it there was Strong. And Strong moves it back over to the far side as Savo Cole is able to punch it out of the zone. Valor. Puts it right back in, and Henry Barnes with a soft forecheck. Devin Strong with the puck on the near side. And with all sorts of time, looks for a head man pass. Finds his man up high, and it comes back over to the stick of Rodriguez. Rodriguez moving it back into the near side corner. Devin Strong lays a lick, and the puck bounces back up from the top of the circle. Picked back up by Devin Strong. Strong feeds it back up high, top of the circle. Shot, a second save. Two saves in a row as Cooper Robinson holds on. Robinson made the first save with the glove, but he bobbled it. And right on the doorstep was Tyler Strong. Strong took another couple whacks at it and put a second shot on goal. And Cooper Robinson makes the save and holds on to a one-goal lead. We're at the 8-18 mark of this first period. 1-0, Valor off of Garrett Coveney's slap shot. And Coveney is out there taking the face off. And off the face off, the puck is hoisted back down behind Valor's cage. Cooper Robinson holds it there. The puck has moved back over to the far side corner. Nicholas Morona, who had nine goals from the blue line this year for Valor, takes it back out to center. Swept in by Coveney and chased back over to the near side as the Mustangs are able to move the puck up and out as it's Blaine Keller who had the game-winning goal in that game versus, versus East as he is out there, number 13. Meanwhile, with the puck, and holding the puck there is Carter Charles, steals the puck. Baller takes the shot, hits the post. Carter Charles almost made it 2-0 as he missed by just inches there. Hits the side of the post and a big check over on the far side as Nicholas Clark plants Nicholas Morona. A couple of Nicholases there and Morona back to the bench. And that's no easy task as Morona is one of the bigger defensemen for Coach George Gwazdecki. And so a whistle there. We've got a face-off, and we get a good look at George Gwazdecki and his bench. And off the face-off, Aiden Owen rifles it back over to the near side. A bit too hot of a pass for Simon Tarosian to handle. Mustangs put it back behind Valor's cage. And one more time, the puck is scooped up by Owen Walsh. Moves it back over to the right-hand side. Walsh picks up his own pass. Feeds it back up over on the far side. Galushko with it. Gets held up just inside the Mustangs' blue line, and the puck is stolen away. Puck is hoisted back behind Cooper Robinson's cage, and Valor has to work it back out. As Rodriguez over on the far side for the Mustangs applies some forecheck. Valor is able to pry the puck free, and now Aiden Owen with time sitting back behind Cooper Robinson's cage. As he's got Simon Trosian waiting for the puck on the near side as the pass comes, tipped in by Larson. And the Mustangs with Sinchev 
back, the defenseman working out of the near side corner, and he muscles it all the way back over to the far side. The puck, and it was going to be an icing call, but no, it comes in, and Cooper Robinson is forced to play the puck. Back over to the far side, Sinchev taken off the play, and here comes Jeremy Muir with the head of steam. Muir take it, takes into the zone, but he spun off the puck, and the puck has moved back over to the half boards. Sinchev picks it up and feeds it back up, and all alone bringing the puck in is Palak. Palak shot up above Cooper Robinson. How did he get so free? But Palak was all alone, and that pass as Sinchev found him all alone. Cooper Robinson came way out, and Cooper Robinson, Cooper Robinson uh, was left alone, but that shot was well above him. And we've got another penalty. And this one is on Walsh for Valor. So RV gets their second power play of the first period. This one comes at the 5.57 mark. And so stepping in to take the face off is Mario Rodriguez, who had three tallies this season. Puck comes back up to the point where it's held by Cole, right over to the back to the near side. Shot by Tyler Strong. That one was blocked off, and here comes Alfieri. Alfieri along with Fekete. Alfieri shorthanded, takes it in, and Wraps it around, took the shot, and puck rolls around in front of the RV bench. Picked back up, and bringing the puck in over on the far side was Frankie. As Frankie peels it back up to the point. Battling for the puck on the near side corner boards. As Tarosian gets tied up, and Aiden Owen has time, and the man behind him is now Aiden Owen. Takes his time, takes it into the zone as Looks to take some time off the clock, and Devin Strong absolutely leveled Aiden Owen as Devin Strong came back and said, I've seen enough of that, and we got to get our power play back on. Bringing the puck right back in and looking for it was, was Devin, uh, Tyler Strong. Strong's pass through the slot, picked off by Valor, and this time Valor just sends it up and out of the, out of the zone. Puck is picked right back up. Devin Strong who led this team in goals and points, 11 and 17 respectively. Send it back over, and the shot goes up and out of play. We're at the tail end of the power play, 42 seconds remaining. And Owen Walsh's two-minute minor. And another face-off deep in Valor territory here. As I said, the Strong brothers, Devin Strong, number 11, and Tyler Strong, number 61, play on that top line along with Cole Frankie. And so a little bit of a discussion with George Gwazdecki. And Coach Gwazdecki might be asking about the placement of this faceoff. So. Valor, who came in, averaging roughly eight penalty minutes have already taken four thus far, and we're in this first period. With the loose puck, the shot, second opportunity off the face, chiseling away over on the far side. Cooper Robinson sprawled out as Cooper Robinson back to his knees. That shot goes wide, and RV keeps the puck in as Keller with it. And I believe the net came off the mooring, so hopefully we'll get another look at that. But right off the face off as the Mustangs tried to Jam that puck in. Cooper Robinson had that right pad outside of the cage. And that's what did it as they were jamming away. Robinson was able to wedge his leg between the, the Mustangs and that side of the cage. And he's able to keep the puck out and preserve his one goal lead here at the 422 mark of this first period. 25 seconds remaining in the power play as Valor wins the faceoff. And spinning away from pressure is Aiden Owen as he clears the puck the distance. Caleb Bartholomew hands it off and walking it out over on the near side is Newman. Max Newman works it back over to the far side in front of the Valor bench. Aiden Owen ties him up and gets a piece of the puck, but some support from the Mustangs over on the far side puts the puck back in deep as Valor returns to full strength and Owen Walsh is back on the ice looking for the puck. He's got it, a three on one. Owen Walsh with the puck, looking for it, takes the shot up and over the glove side. He had a three on one with a trailer as Fekete was coming in. 
As Walsh's shot goes off the glove. Counterattack. Here comes RV. Puck is stripped off the stick, and Simon Tarosian marches back up ice for Valor. Tarosian drops it off to Alfieri, and Alfieri loses the handle. Puck back behind the cage. Alexia for the Mustangs tries to move it out and along the near side. He's able to get it back out to center. Loses it to Jeremy Muir. Muir for Valor, bringing it in. Another drop pass back over to Walsh. Back over to the right-hand side. A shot by Henry Barnes. That one is saved by Bartholomew, and the puck moved back over to the near side as the Mustangs bank it off the wall. Unable to get it out, Jeremy Muir holds the line from the left point. And Muir tries to keep a stick on it, gets some help from Jenkins. Jenkins tumbling, but he's able to get a pass in front. Carter Charles looking for the puck in the loose in the slot. He's knocked off the puck, and the Mustangs have it. Mustangs bringing it out, but number 21, that was Gabriel Kennedy, was surrounded by Valor. Gives up the puck, and Valor ices it, sends it the distance. So Valor survives two successive penalty kills as they kill off Larson and Walsh's penalties. And they remain with one goal lead, 1-0 here at the 236 mark. Chris Homer for the Mustangs takes the faceoff deep in Valor territory. Puck is picked up by Brooks Wright and is able to move it back out to center. Right back in to Valor zone this time. Puck is wrapped around the boards and back out to center as Alfieri looks for a jump. But a good defensive effort over on the far side as Dylan Sinchev is able to steal the puck away. Brooks Wright will now try from the near side from center ice. Puts it in deep. Garrett Coveney goes for a skate and picks up the loose puck. Coveney stashes it back behind the cage. Alfieri in front. Shot scores! Alfieri makes it 2-0. And for Alec Alfieri, that is his... 13th goal of the season and his third of the playoffs. Alfieri on the side of the cage, and I don't know if he even knew it went in until afterwards he got to the far side. We'll get a good look at this from back behind the cage as Coveney scooped in, brought that puck in, went off of Brooks right. Alfieri takes the shot, it goes up and over, and looking for that puck was Bartholomew as it leaks in. As Alec Elfieri from his line mates, Coveney and Wright makes it 2 0. As it is 2 0. And again, Alfieri, who right now leads this team, or he and Garrett Coveney each have three goals in the tournament. As they led this team, as Alec Erfieri led the team in goals with 11 during the regular season, he now has three in the playoffs. As the puck is hoisted back into the Valor zone, we have a minute 12 remaining in this first period. The touch play, and Valor exits the zone with Walsh. Walsh takes a shot as it bounces off of Bartholomew from about mid-ice, and pressing is Walsh again. Walsh with Strong on his backside. Walsh continues to battle for the puck. He gets some help. Now some support from Daniel Galushko. Walsh with the puck right back to Larson. His shot from the slot, and that went up over Bartholomew's cage. The long pass is picked back up, and walking in is Frankie. Frankie shot, dribbles in. Frankie scores, it is 2-1. And with 38 seconds remaining in the first period, Cole Frankie shows why he's so dangerous. Frankie had a one-on-one, -on -one and he moves from his right to his left, takes the shot, and sprawling, looking for the puck back behind him was Cooper Robinson. Robinson actually lost his stick as he stretched out looking for that puck. He thought he made the save with the glove, but it leaks off of his glove and back to the back of the cage. Frankie scores, making it 2-1 here late in this first period. Cole Frankie with 38 seconds remaining. What a big goal that is. And Spencer LaGrange picks up the assist on that. 
into period. And you look at turning points in that, and you never want to give up a goal in the last minute of a period, especially a goal like that, as Franke was left one-on-one, -on -one, and he made a move and was actually stretches out and puts that shot in on Cooper Robinson. Back to the live action with 15 seconds remaining. Puck is behind the Mustangs' cage as they move it out on the near side boards. And again, they've got a man up high as working free. There was number 66, Pets. Pets is closed in on. And in the final second of this first period, the buzzer sounds. So after one, it is 2-1. Recap the scoring, Garrett Company scores to make it 1-0 early in that first period. Alec Calfieri scores a goal, making it 2-0. And then, just over a minute later, later Cole Frankie makes it 2-1. We had two penalties in that period, both on Valor, and they killed both of those penalties off. That's where we stand. I'm Manny Furtado for Shaw Hockey Productions. Thanks for listening, we'll be back momentarily for the second period in about 15 minutes as they have a Zam break. We'll be back. Stay with us. Thanks for listening. And welcome back to Magnus Arena, where we've got the 5A state championship game. And we're in between periods with Valor Christian up 2-1 over Ralston Valley. We have a special guest with us here in between periods. We have Chris Knowlton. And we're going to, we've got some technical stuff. We're going to get it plugged in here. We have Chris Knowlton, who played at the University of Denver. And Chris played with Coach George Gwazdecki. Welcome to the booth here, Chris. Glad to have you on board. Appreciate it, James. Thank you very much. So, Chris, George Gwazdecki played. He coached 19 seasons here, won a couple of national championships. You played here as well. This is familiar, familiar ice for him as well as yourself. Uh, you played here for, uh, tell us about your, your years here yep. with George. So I played here uh, 09 to 13. Um, unfortunately, never able to get that elusive national championship, but we had a great four years. Um, George was obviously a, a great coach, mentor, um, j j just a really good man for me and helped me grow up a lot, but I, I owe a lot to him, and, and really my experience at DU was incredible and uh, couldn't have asked for anything more. So how satisfying do you think that is for George to come back to ice like this where he was on that bench for 19 years? And uh, take us through a little bit you're in between periods. You're in a big game like this. What is George's? What is George like in that locker room uh, with the with the boys? Well, it, it kind of depends on how the first period went. Um, I, I remember a couple times against North Dakota. If we, I think we were down three nothing after the first one time, and he comes in here and he gives it to you really bad in, the, in between periods. Um, and so he'll let you know when you're you're not playing great, but. Usually if you had a good period, he comes in, keeps it simple, just says, hey, stick to the game plan here. You know, this this line is starting, and let's go get it again. Talk about the planning that George puts into a game plan and talk about his preparation and what that feels like for a player. You know, I think it, it starts, you know, at least for us at DU, it starts on Monday, and it's, you know, the practice on Monday is usually really high-paced. Tuesday, we get into some system stuff. So Wednesday, we do a little bit of power play. And, you know, throughout the week, we're watching video. We're, we're really getting dialed in. And the assistant coaches have, you know, a, a good job to do as well, getting us ready. But, you know, they're smart. They do a lot of, a lot of video. And they know, you know, you, you play each team four times a year. So you kind of know what you're going to get out of them. But they keep, it, uh, they keep it relatively simple. Hey, let's focus on, you know, more your game than the other team. And usually you can have some success doing that. George Kwasdek, he's looking for his third state championship. That's incredible. They won two championships back to back. Two years ago, they beat they beat Fort Collins twice in successive years. 
uh, the famous five overtime game, and then they won the second time. Then they lost to Denver East at the at Ball Center last year. Now they're looking to avenge it here. Um, George has brought that same planning, that same winning tradition to Valor. Um, it imagine being in high school and playing for George and getting that exposure at incredible. an early age of that discipline. No, no, no kidding. It's incredible, and you know both both teams. I'm sure have had great years this year, and it was a, it was an exciting first period. Um, a late goal by Ralston Valley to to get it to two one here. Um, I imagine the second period will be hard fought, and uh, both teams will be ready to get after it. So we've got an upstart Ralston Valley team. Ralston Valley. King was played in the in the state championship game five times in eight years, and that was from from uh, up until 2014. So from 07 to 14, they were in that game five times, wow. winning two of those championships. This is first year Nick Spinder here. Nick Spinder is a first year head coach. He's got his team in the state championship game. He also played at Ralston Valley. How so. cool is that? That's incredible. It's a fantastic story. And earlier, we you watched the 4A game. It was a tr it was a Triple A overtime win by Cheyenne Mountain. Chris, what's your history there? I, I spent two years down at Cheyenne Mountain. Um, I, I never got to play for the team. I was I was playing for the Thunderbirds, but I had a lot of good buddies on the team, and I believe. It was either my sophomore or junior Shine won it that year. I don't know if they've won it since, but that's exciting. Um, I'm sure I know triple overtime game. That's great. one nothing, incredible. And we are ready for the second period as the teams line up. I've got Cooper Robinson to my left-hand side and Caleb Bartholomew to my right-hand side. Chris, if you want to stay and listen in for a sec here, we're going to start this second period. Here we go. It is 2-1. Valor over... over... Ralston Valley, and for Ralston Valley, they've got that top line out there with Cole Frankie, number 92, Devin and Tyler Strong, 11 and 61, flanking him, going up against Garrett Coveney's line here. And Garrett Coveney has an all-senior line as he has Brooks Wright and Al Alec Alfieri next to him. I think you know his dad, um, Adam Alfieri, yeah, might be out there. So he, he's cheering. So here we go, Garrett Coveney, and off the faceoff. Aiden Owens settles things, moves it back over to Tarosian, and Tarosian up ice to Coveney. Coveney pitchforks it back into the far side corner and giving chase is Alfieri over on the near side. Alfieri steals the puck, but Alexiev ties him up. Alexiev battling with Alfieri, and the puck swept up, and Valor's going to get their first power play of the game. It's going to be a high-sticking call, and it's going to go against Nikita Alexiev, number seven, the senior defenseman. And so Valor with their first power play of the game. It comes here in the second period, and we've just started. We're less than a minute in. Alexiev takes a high stick. And Valor with power play number one. And this is that top power play line. You've got Noah Fekete, number 20, the senior. Senior along with other seniors, Alec Alfieri, Garrett Coveney, and Aiden Owen on the defense. Along with Maddox Charles, number 23, a freshman. Wow. Number 23. So here's Maddox Charles. It's always good to start. You get an early power play here. This could be big time for Valor if they can connect here. And so off the faceoff, it's, it's Fekete. Feeds it back over. Company with a sweep shot and a big save by Bartholomew. Bartholomew holds on, keeping it a one-goal game here. You saw the value of winning that faceoff as Coveney drills his stick up against the boards. Sets up, and another faceoff. This one is won by RV, and they're able to move it over to the near side. Maddox Charles with patience as he's pressured. Gives the puck back over to Alfieri. Alfieri has it leak off his stick. Puck comes back, and the puck stolen almost by Clark. Garrett Coveney, a matching nine, tips it back over to Fekete. And Noah Fekete works his way back into the zone, right? Edge of the circle, takes it back behind Bartholomew's cage as he's sized up there by Cole. Fekete over on the far side, moves it back to Aiden Owen. Straight ahead, the wrister, Whoa! shot, scores! Aiden Owen scores! And Owen piles into the fans over on the far side. Aiden Owen makes it 3-1, scoring his 10th goal of the season, his second of the playoffs. Aiden Owen, one of the leaders of this team, puts up Valor 3-1. to one. That might have gotten tipped, I think, coming through. We got a replay right here. And off the faceoff, it came back up high. Aiden Owen had a screen right in front, and it's Alec Alfieri, and nobody right touched through. it. That was good scoring. 
3-1 as Aiden Owen scores. And, and Fekete. And Fekete and Covney get assists here. at the 16.02 mark, that goal is scored. We're back to the live action. And the puck, a scramble in front of Cooper Robinson's cage as the Mustangs look to counterattack here with the puck back up high. The shot whistles up and over Robinson's cage. Morona battles his man, but the puck is picked back up and moved back up to the point. The shot deadened and it hit a body as the net is off the moorings there. That was Carson Pence, who from the point took that shot. And for the Mustangs, as a little bit of conversation out there as we got Spencer LaGrange and getting acquainted with Henry Barnes, or excuse me, Chase Whitmore, number 25 out there. And for Ralston Valley, they'll set up to take this face off as Tyler Shones has it. He's got Palak on one side, Pets on the other side. And the puck is down, Valor wins it, scaled off the glass. And the puck escapes all the way down to the zone. Maddox Charles looks to beat the icing, but can't do so. Maddox Charles, an impressive freshman, has a brother out here, Carter Charles. And who can forget his brother, his other brother, Jamison Charles, who scored the game-winning goal two years ago versus Fort Collins to give, to give Valor their second champion state championship. Family affair. Sometimes it is. <laughs> And off the faceoff, the puck battled for, and the puck rolls around back to behind Valor's cage, moved back up the near side wall. Henry Barnes can exit. Fekete skates by, and the puck is picked back up by Barnes. Barnes with a no-look feed. Maddox Charles feeds it back up, touched up by Fekete. Fekete chases it in the near side as he takes a shoulder check from Savo Cole. Maddox Charles with some strong mitts, holds onto the puck, feeds it back over to Fekete. Back up to the right point, Ladwig. Back over to Fekete, Fekete along, looking for the give and go! Maddox Charles with the shot! The puck right on the side of the cage, and Bartholomew holds on. You watch Maddox Charles as he had a bit of a no-look shot. As we don't see it from that, we can't see Maddox Charles, but he takes the shot, and sometimes you get lucky on those, and they, they leak in. They do, you can see the goalie wasn't ready for it, and it just hit him. And so the faceoff come out to the left-hand side of Matthew Bartholomew. Bartholomew, as the puck is down and scrambling for the puck, Coveney's got it. His backhand was knocked off by Andrine. Andrine chases him into the corner. And a couple of checks there as Alfieri is stick check. The puck is picked back up by Keller. Keller weaving his way out of the zone, sends a head man pass, and it goes off the stick of Clark. All the way back to Cooper Robinson, who sweeps it over to the far side, half boards. Puck is back up to the point. The shot is knocked down in the slot. Eight no, and Headman pass beyond Alfieri. Can't get to it. Icing call, and Covney and Alfieri both say they touch the puck, but the officials say no, so the faceoff. Now they're having a conversation, and perhaps the referee will put the faceoff to center. I think you got him in the skate, number 12 there. And so there is Alec Alfieri. He points to himself almost like <laughs> Kale McCarr when he, had a, when he had a penalty, and he said, nope, that was no penalty. <laughs> I waved that one off. <laughs> he won't do that again. So the, I guess they listen to Kale McCarr and Alec Alfieri. They're in the same, in the same <laughs> class here. As we have 13.56 to go in this second period, as Valor has a two-goal lead, and they look for more. Aiden Owen fires it back over to Jenkins, and Jenkins from the edge of the circle. Looking back for Aiden Owen. Jenkins chops at it. Aiden Owen lays a lick, and Carter Charles with the puck. His shot is redirected by Bartholomew. Back over to the far side. Punch pass held on there. Fekete finds Carter Charles the shot, and it hits a shoulder of Bartholomew. The puck back into the Zam corner, and Carter Charles delivers another heavy check. Meanwhile, Valor has, has the Mustangs pinned in. And a little bit of extra activity and a roughing call is coming. And so the Mustangs, much to the delight of the Valor student section, are going to the box. And now Valor gets their second power play of the game. And this time it's a roughing call. 
And it's gone Blaine Keller who had that game winning goal. So Keller to the box for two minutes for a rough and this one comes at the 1323 mark of this second period. Coach George Gwazdecki keeps his top line out there as perhaps he's they connected in the first 10 seconds or 15 seconds on the last PP. Let's see if they can do it again. And off the faceoff, Alfieri with the puck as he's ridden off the puck by LaGrange. LaGrange puts a soft one back up the boards, can't get it out. Covney back down low, held on by Aiden Owen. Aiden Owen over to Fekete. Fekete down low. Covney's working his way in as it poked off his stick. Alfieri, or er, er, Fekete over on the far side, gets bodied up by Spencer LaGrange. Does some heavy work back over to Aiden Owen. Aiden Owen shot off the edge of the cage. Fekete one more time with it was strong watching him. Puck is fished back over and the hot pass jumps the stick of Aiden Owen. Maddox Charles, wise beyond his years, works it into the zone and feeds it back over to the near side. Back over to Covney. Covney taken off the puck by Cole. Cole works it back over and works it back through the Mustang center portion of the ice and back over to Strong. Strong squares up, takes the shot, a bouncing puck, scores! Strong scores, making it 3-2, and the Ralston Valley crowd is going wild. As Cooper Robinson, the second goal is, he wants that one back as well, 3-2. As Devin Strong came down the left-hand side, took the shot, the puck pops up, back behind Cooper Robinson, and Robinson pleading his case, but doesn't have standing, it is three to two. Devin Strong scores, making it three two at the 12.38 mark of this second period. And Ralston Valley, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, Ralston Valley sneaks back up on you. And there's a shot by Morona. And Morona's shot goes up and out of play. So a whistle and a faceoff back in the Mustang zone. And what a turn of events as Valor had all the momentum and Strong comes in for an innocent looking shot that normally Cooper Robinson makes that save. And here's a loose puck. Bringing the puck back in is Pets. Pets is knocked off the puck by Morona, who rides him into the corner. Walsh scoops up the puck and fires it back over to the far side onto Barnes' tape to tape. Barnes with the puck, a drop feed. Leaves it there as the pass deflected. Gulushko tried to get it back in tight. Puck has swept the distance. And Cooper Robinson plays this one here as there's 20 seconds remaining in the power play. As the puck back over as a big heavy check is laid in on Morona. That's a second shot that Morona has taken. That one courtesy of Carson Petz. As RV sends the puck the distance. And Daniel Galushko sauces one back over to the near side right in front of the box. And exiting the box is Keller as the Mustangs back to full strength as they try and work the puck up and out of their zone as Walsh Handled the puck there, moves it back down for Nicholas Morona, the defenseman on the half boards. And RV's seen enough, they'll send it the distance to get a breather here. We're at the 11.04 mark, one goal game. Ralston Valley trailing 3-2 on Valor Christian. Chris, glad to have you, glad you made it over and uh, enjoyed it and uh, enjoy the rest of the game with the boys and hopefully you get to see Adrian Wiedemann and uh, Coach Kuzdaki after the game. Absolutely, I appreciate it James, thanks for having me on. And we are back with Jeremy Muir with the puck. Back over on the far side. Fires it back over to Fekete. Fekete shot right on target. Held on there by Bartholomew. And keeping it a one goal game. And so, Ralston Valley, who has been a stubborn team this year as they have won an awful lot of big games. That pass across the crease as they were looking for Aiden Owen, held up there by Carter Charles and into the zone. Jenkins tries to work it back free 
as he jousts with number 61, Tyler Strong, for the puck along the half boards. Fekete with it one more time, banks it back into the corner. As Jenkins on the forecheck, puck is broken out, and coming out with it is Frankie. Frankie back down the right-hand side to Strong. Strong with a drop feed. Fekete has Frankie covered as Fekete is, is sandwiched between a couple of RV players. Simon Tarosian guides the puck back over to Jenkins on the near side. And Jenkins trying to work it in deep on Sinchev. Takes a heavy check on the back side from Tyler Strong. Puck is taken back out. And here comes RV with numbers three on two. The poke is, puck is poked free. The shot over on the far side by Strong. Never got through to Cooper Robinson's cage. Puck back over to Carter Charles, and Carter Charles with it. Motors back up through center for RV. Looking for options, has it poked off his stick by Spencer LaGrange. Puck ricochets back out of the zone, and Garrett Coveney waits for bodies on sides. Flies one back over into the far side corner, overskated by Alfieri. Picked up by, by Wright, back over to Alfieri. Squares up his shot as he never was able to get that one fully off. As he ran in there to number 81, Newman, the defenseman. Loose puck. Brooks Wright has it back behind the cage, looking for options. Guides it back over the near side wall. Marona's shot. Ricochets back to the far side. Whitmore with a flyer in that one. Rides back with the boards, back over to the near side. Marona one more time sends another flyer. Trading shots left and right. That one goes, goes up and over the glove side of Bartholomew. And jousting for the puck in the neutral zone. It's poked free. And hoisting it back into the Valor zone. Given chase is Whitmore with a man on his backside. That's Shones. Puck on the near side, half boards. Covney moves it back over to Alfieri. Two on one, Brooks Wright in the middle. Feeds it, finds it. Brooks Wright's shot deflected by the Bartholomew. And he keeps it a one goal game. Perfect execution as Bartholomew did a great job. He was the last man standing on Wright. And Wright's shot was just deflected. This puck all the way back to Valor's zone. Getting into the action was Cooper Robinson. Back out to center. Shones with the puck. It's tied up with Coveney and streaking in is Newman. Newman can't control it. Center ice. Coveney's got it. A backhand feed finds Larson. Larson with a backhander. And that one goes in on Bartholomew. Larson gets tied up back behind the cage. Luke looks for the loose puck. Feeds it back. Side of the cage. Walsh has got it. Walsh for Valor on the edge of the circle. Banks it back up to the right point. The quick shot by Muir, and that one deflected wide back over to the far side. Ladwick guides it along the dasher board, back behind RV's cage. Larson continues to battle, looking for a man in the middle. Doesn't have him. He is tied up and along the side, far side half boards. Feeds it back over to Ladwick. And the puck is punched back out, and looking for it as Palak for the, for the Mustangs. He feeds one back into the slot, into the Valor zone, and again, Cooper Robinson swinging a miss, so it's a stick. He might get a bit of a piece of that, a heavy check on Galushko behind the play, and now comes Walsh. Walsh takes a check as just as he gets the shot off over on the far side, and we've got a penalty as Keller is going to go again, and with Keller with his hands up and over his head, he can't believe it that Keller has taken his second penalty of the game. Two minutes for an elbow. And so Keller takes his second penalty of this second period. He took a roughing call earlier. This one is an elbow. And this one comes at the 7-11 mark. So for Coach Spinder. Spinder sets up. His defense as he has Strong and Alexiev out there, along with, I believe, uh, he has both Strong brothers as well as Andrine with it. Back to the live action of the puck straight up ahead as moved over by Aiden Owen. Maddox Charles looking for a seam pass to Fekete. Fekete with those strong hands is able to snake the puck away. Fekete over on the far side as Maddox Charles in tight. Goes up high to Aiden Owen. Aiden Owen's shot as it was deflected over to the near side. Maddox Charles tries to get it back over to the far side with a backhander. Flagged down by Charles again. Charles shot deflects far side. Half boards chasing for it. And the bouncing puck just comes back out to center. Aiden Owen feeds it back over to Charles but it's just off sides as Alfieri was there as well. So a face-off outside of the RV zone with 116 remaining in the power play. 
6.27 remaining in the second period. As Owen Walsh wins this faceoff for Valor. And Galushko banks it into the RV zone. It's punched right back to the Valor end. Cooper Robinson left alone as Frankie was on the four check. And he gets a little bit of help as Walsh has the puck over on the far side. Finds Morona, the defenseman takes it into the zone. Morona takes the shot and scores! Morona winds it up at the wrister. Goes low side on the glove and scores, making it 4-2, Valor. And Valor with a power play goal. And we check that, it may not have been as perhaps it just came off as the power play may have just expired. And we'll have to see if they call that a power play goal here. As Morona, Nicholas Morona, came in and he just snapped that puck past Bartholomew. And for the second time, for the second, for the third time, Valor has a two goal lead. Each time, RV has come back to cut the deficit to one. So let's see if they can repeat things here and cut this deficit. So off, over on the far side, the long pass by Morona. Off the stick, flagged down by Walsh. Walsh with the puck, his backhander looking for Larson. Back on the near side, Larson takes a check, moves the puck back over. And from the far side, Nicholas Clark finds Keller. Keller snaps a pass back over, looking for Homer and Chris Homer. Chases it down into the near side as he puts a pass right back in front. And getting tied up, Nicholas Morona had Nicholas Clark tied up. Clark the senior, a pair of seniors battling there for the puck. And the net comes off the moorings. So. So the faceoff all the way back to the Valor end as Noah Fekete winds up versus Tyler Shones. Shones on that second line. And the officials are ready to go. And Shones wins the faceoff back as Sinchep from the point guides it back along the half boards. Barnes has it. Barnes marches out, feeds it back over. Who's Gathers it in was Maddox Charles. His shot deflected. And the Mustangs counterattack, bringing the puck back over on the near side. Palak with it. Pal Palak, his pass is knocked back to the Mustang zone. And Sinchef, one more time, back behind the cage as Maddox Charles chases him out. Savick. Savick Cole with the puck. And again, working the way over to the far side as the puck is poked free and Fekete. Tries to work it past, work, tries to work it past Sinchev, unable to. Savas Cole, back over to the near side, and again, one more time, the Mustangs try and take the zone. They're able to move it back up to the point. Palak's with the puck. Palak from the point, moves it along the half boards. A shot from a sharp angle, but it was on target, and Cooper Robinson made that save. That shot was taken by Carson Petz. Puck. Bouncing over into the near side and right in front and almost ricocheted back behind Cooper Robinson. Robinson tried to clear that puck, but he had traffic in front of him. And it went off Zachary Palak. And it nearly went behind Cooper Robinson. So what a way to score a goal, but at RV, and I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt anything here at this game. As Cooper Robinson having another discussion with the official. And the faceoff just to Robinson's right hand side. The shot scores from no angle. And one more time, Strong brings RV back to within one goal. It is four to three. How did that shot score? You look at Devin Strong picking up the puck off the faceoff, and he was below the line. He takes the shot, and it ricochets off of Cooper Robinson and back behind him. And here you get a good look at it as Robinson had it. 
seemingly square. He seemingly was covering that side of the cage. And Devin Strong scores his second goal of the game. Making it, making it four to three. His second goal of the game, Devin Strong scores this one at the tail end of this second period. And one more time, RV draws to within one. And with the puck again, to trying to take a cue from Devin Strong was Cole Frankie. Frankie took a shot from the same point from the side of the cage. That one is defended and coming back as Larson takes a flyer back over to the far side. Puck comes back out to center. Aiden Owen waiting for bodies on sides, rifles it back in, deadens up against the end boards. Alexia moves it back over to the far side. Puck picked back up by Frankie and banked out, looking for Strong one more time. The rolling puck all the way back to Cooper Robinson's cage. Robinson wastes no time punching that back over to the half boards. And Valor's able to get it back out to center as Frankie flies one in and it rides the shelf line. He's at the tail end of a shift. RV gets a full line change. Larson tips it in for Valor. He'll go for the line change too as Alexiev wraps it around the boards. Gabriel Kennedy watches for it. Morona steals it. Morona moves it up to Barnes. Back to Morona. Morona from the circle takes the shot. And Bartholomew from his knees flags it down with the left mitt. It is. As it is. 2.31 remaining. 2.31 remaining in the second period. Valor. It's an offensive zone faceoff. And the puck wrapped around by Newman. Back over to the far side. Held up along the half boards by Valor, keeping it in the zone. But an errant pass is picked off. And Ralston Valley with the puck. Homer back over to the right hand side. And in tight as up ahead of the play. One more time was Clark, and Clark is taken off the play. The puck drifts in on Cooper Robinson. Robinson holds for the whistle. And so the faceoff to the left-hand side of Cooper Robinson as Noah Fekete wins this one into the corner. Morona gets to it as he had Clark on his backside. The puck is pool cued back up over to the far side and back out of the zone. Punched in on Robinson, secured by Morona. And the pass hot off the boards. Flagged back down by Keller. Keller moves it back over to the near side. And the pass is deflected up and into the RV bench as Benny Schwenk. A Ralston Valley grad snagged it out of the air. Benny, Benny Schwenk, along with Jake Plamondon, shares the bench with Nick Spinder. As yeah, Spinder has assembled his assistant coaching staff. And the puck back over to center ice. Punched back over to Tarosian on the far side. And Tarosian looks to take the Mustang zone. Does so as he's watched closely by Andre. Andre puts him into the corner, and the puck le leaks free as right with the shoe at the pass, and the put it right in front. Company with the shot, and that one goes off the cage as the official puts it back on to the moorings. The long pass. What an opportunity for Garrett Covney as Brooks Wright wrapped it around and it ricocheted out to Covney all alone. Back to the live action. Mustangs with the puck in the Valor zone, taken away by Aiden Owen. Kisses it off the glass. Back over to right. Right with an no look backhand feed. Finds Alfieri. Alfieri gathers it back in, puts it along the half boards. Back over to right is one timer. That one fanned on. Backhand feed from Alfieri. Back to right along the right edge of the circle. Right with a backhand feed right in front. Comes up to Morona. Morona's shot. And it deflected. Right, one more time, keeping the puck alive. Leaves it for Alfieri. Tries to create some space. Alexiev takes the puck, and over on the far side, it's slowed down by Palak. Palak tries to move it up to mid-ice boards. Puck was stolen momentarily by Cutney. Back over, and trying to work the puck back in, but unable to was Shones. Valor with the puck back behind Robinson's cage. Moved up, up ice to Cutney. 
Duchovny walks it into the zone, hands it back off to Alfieri on the near side. Alfieri is shoulder checked into the corner. Puck is swept back up and back out of the Mustang zone. Jeremy Muir retreats behind his cage as the buzzer sounds, signaling the end of the second period. After two, we have a one goal game, the same as after one. And in that second period, we had four goals as Aiden Owen got Valor off and made it 3-1. Devin Strong comes back, making it 3-2. With a shot down the left-hand side, Nicholas Morona with a power play goal makes it 4-2. And it was 4-3 as Devin Strong gets his second goal of the second period, making it 4-3. That's where we stand. We had three penalties all on RV that period. And that's where we stand. I'm Manny Furtado for Shaw Hockey Productions. We'll be back for the third and final period. 4-3, Valor leading RV. And welcome back to Magnus Arena for the 5A state championship hockey game between Valor Christian and Ralston Valley. Valor leading 4-3 here at the end of the second period. We have a special guest. We have Brian Bond on. Brian Bond is the athletic director for Valor Christian. Welcome to the booth, Brian. Well, thanks so much for having me today. And what a, what a week for you for Valor sports and athletics, but let's talk about the hockey first. We've got the uh, the the varsity team here in their fourth consecutive championship game. They've won two of the last three. Um, how does that feel as an athletic director to watch the success of this team? Well, it's fun because it's a testament to the hard work of our players and our coaches and all that they do in preparation for a game like this tonight. You know, this is a long journey that you're talking about. This starts all the way back in summertime when they start putting a team together and trying to force camaraderie to happen and team to happen and to see August all the way to tonight, that's a lot of payoff and a lot of hard work on everybody's part. And I'm just so blessed to watch a team like this play. What a what a great game by both teams. But I'm sure Ralston Valley's journey was a lot like ours, but I am surely thankful for all that Valor Christian Hockey has done this entire year. And talk a little bit about the support that the athletic administration has and the relationship that you've got with Coach George Gwazdecki. Well, uh, first, George Gwazdecki is just a blessing in itself, a legend in itself. Um, but I, I get to work side by side with George on a daily basis, whether that's scheduling. Uh, I always give him a hard time. He's not the best with technology all the time. Uh, so I, I, I'm his computer IT guy as well. Um, but at, at, the, at the same time, George, does a fantastic job of asking for help when he needs it, but then being prepared the rest of the way. And that that's a seasoned coach right there. That, that's somebody that um, doesn't need a lot from us as administrators other than saying, George, we love what you're doing. Let us know how we can support you along the way. And the talent that he has here, the kids working as hard as they do, um, Man, it's just so fun to watch a program like this go uh, all the way to a state championship game. You look out there and you have a lot of fans out there. They're all dressed in white. Uh, talk about the school spirit a little bit and, and, and how you do that. And you've got your own social media within the school as well. So um, talk about how that all gets worked together and, uh, and how you guys support that as well. well. I'll tell you this much. People forget that we're only 1,200 kids. Uh, so when we go up against these big schools that are two, 3,000, they show up in a whole different way than we can. When you look over at the crowd in white right now, I'm so proud that there's this many people here for a state championship game. Uh, you know, we, we took the day off from spring practices and told kids, get ready, let's go support a team, let's go support the last fall, or excuse me, winter team um, of the year and let's go celebrate with them. Um, we do a great job for being a small school and we, we, we have a lot of passion towards being excellent in sports and this is a fun night for our kids to see. As far as social media goes, um, 
Valor Sports Network has been something that has been ongoing for the last 10 years, and um, now we have an athletic team member that helps run all that social media. But we cover all 25 sports on our campus, and I'm sure just like I'm having a blast tonight, I'm sure she's having a blast over on the uh, sidelines. But huge shout-out uh, to Katie Neff, who runs our social media, and Boogie Brown, who does all of our uh, video um, after games and boogie media puts out some pretty good pretty good content there we're always glad to glad to hear that so that's great you've had success in other sports as well yeah and most recently you had uh, basketball teams uh, yeah. and uh, so talk a little bit about that and, and the success that you've had there yeah two great teams that went on to the elite eight and their their seasons came to an end there but not with fighting with a ton of adversity um, our girls team number one in the state lost one of their best players early on to an ACL injury um, our best player who scored 32 in that Elite Eight game had um, strep throat the, the week of, so she was fighting through strep throat. We had a girl with a concussion the week before it, so adversity struck this team, but what an amazing opportunity to be there. The boys' side, unexpected, didn't make the playoffs last year and then came in as the number eight seed ran into the number one uh, in, in the Elite Eight and uh, a, a great Mountain Vista team that, uh, in my opinion, probably will win the whole thing. Um, but a very special team, very talented team right down the road. Uh, we were glad to play them, but uh, again, the journeys of both of those programs, how fun to watch them um, continue to make playoff runs year after year. Well, as we said, you know, the excellence that Valor has, um, and you mentioned RV. I'm glad that you mentioned RV because RV has a long history of excellence in hockey. It comes out of the Arvada Hockey Association typically, and that association produced um, five championship, uh, five championship uh, games. They won two of those um, over a seven-year period um, earlier in the, uh, in the decade. Yeah, um, and I have a great relationship with the AD over there. We got to congratulate one another as we moved into the state championship game. One of the things that's really fun for us is this is two Jeffco schools. We don't play in the Jeffco League for hockey, but when we look at each other, we look at each other as family. Uh, the Jeffco League does such a great job of inviting us in, welcome, welcoming us in, and uh, RV has done a great job with that too. So th this is really fun either way. Win or, win or lose, obviously I hope we win, uh, but it, even if we lose, it's fun to watch a, a fellow member of the Jeffco schools uh, take home a state championship. But. Um, well, they've been great competitors. It's a uh, it's a terrific school with a great history, and I'm glad that they've got mutual respect for each other. And uh, and uh, we will see who takes home this championship. We have 17 minutes up on the board, a third period, possibly more than that. So Valor has had two, has had three two goal leads. RV is able to come back, and here comes RV with their chairs as they're challenging the Valor student body. And Valor is giving it right back to him. RV to our left-hand side. Valor to our right-hand side. And we are just about ready to start this. So, and we are underway on a fresh sheet of ice as Aiden Owen takes the puck in and dishes a backhander back behind Savas Coles. And picking it up is Coveney. Coveney with the pass right in front looking for for Tarosian, and it just misses the mark. As the puck goes all the way back to Cooper Robinson's cage, as the puck ricochets up and out of play onto the near side. One of the things you have to love are all the opportunities that the Eagles are creating in this game, and RV too, but it seems like shot after shot's coming from down here. It is uh, RV and Valor here, and it's a similar color scheme out there, huh? So sometimes you gotta catch yourself to see who you're, who you're calling. Noah Feketty, the senior, off the faceoff. Puck is punched back up to the point as Cole's shot dribbles in and sprawling for it is Cooper Robinson. Puck is almost flagged down by Shones, who puts a body into his man. That's Aiden Owen over on the far side. Henry Barnes sizes up his man, and the puck is kissed off the glass and back out to center. Picked up by Maddox Charles. Charles with numbers. Maddox Charles slides it back over. Shot. Goal. Noah Feketty scores. And it is 5-3. to three. The two-goal lead is back. Noah Feketty gets a beautiful pass from the freshman Maddox Charles. And it is 5-3. to three. And I told you, opportunities. They seem to continue to find ways to put opportunities on net. And Feketty, I believe, with the second one of the night. Uh, what, what a beautiful goal. Uh, freshman to senior there. And 
What a senior lineup here, and what an unselfish play by Maddox Charles. Maddox Charles put it on a platter, and Noah Fekete knocks it into an open cage. So don't count RV out. They have been down three times now by a two-goal lead. Can they come back again? And we're back to the live action as Devin Strong has the puck picked off his stick, comes all the way back to Frankie. Frankie tries to work past Whitmore. Whitmore sized up and ridden into the ditch over on the far side was, was Galushko. Galushko back to his skates, and the puck drifts all the way back to the RV zone. Long pass back up through center, punch in, and looking for it was Whitmore. He tried to flag it down. Walking the puck back in is Frankie. Frankie challenged by a forward there who makes a heck of a play as that was Daniel Galushko, number 17. Back to live action, LaGrange with the puck over on the far side, the long pass. As a little miscommunication, Jeremy Muir secures it back, and with the head up, works his back way back through center. Finds Brooks right, right, has it poked off his stick. Keller flags it down. Keller working back behind Bartholomew's cage. He's smoked out. Puck is stolen one more time by Walsh. Dishes it back over to right, right, a backhand feed. Alfieri back to right, right from the dot. Tries to get it back over to the near side, and we've got a penalty coming up. And it's going to be a high sticking call. And going to the box is Owen Walsh. So Walsh takes his second penalty of the game. He took one in the first period. That was. And now Walsh with the high stick as this one comes at the 14.59 mark of this second period. Feisty players. And Walsh has always got his nose in there. He does. And for being a smaller player against the Ralston Valley team, who absolutely is physical all game long, I love to see a little guy just getting into the trenches and working as hard as he possibly can. And so now Coach George Gwazdecki is having another conversation with the officials as with 14.59 remaining in this third period, Valor with a two-goal lead as the most dangerous lead in hockey has been up there three times. And so taking this face off will be number 95 is Tyler Shones as he's going up against the senior centerman Noah Fekete. And the puck stuck on the dot, is poked back up to the point, calling for it back over to the near side is Kennedy. Kennedy's pass was deflected and over into the far side corner. The puck has swept back out the distance. Bartholomew holds it. Newman sweeps. Alfieri backpedals. And the puck has worked into the Valor zone. But Aiden Owen has got time. And Owen sends it the distance. Goes on net. And the puck is punched back over to the far side by Bartholomew. Alfieri chased off the puck. Kennedy dishes it back. Palak moves it up ice. And with some speed. Looks to take the zone, walks it in, but he runs into a freight train named Aiden Owen. And Aiden Owen, looking back, says, yeah, that was me. Aiden Owen, one of the hardest hitters on this, on this Valor team, introduced himself there, and he's not afraid to do so. One of the toughest players we've seen in a number of years. Reminds me of another defenseman, Ryan Kaiser. So the faceoff comes to the left-hand side of Cooper Robinson and peeling away is Frankie. Frankie with 110 remaining in the power play. The shot it whistles wide. Puck over on the far side. Cole pokes it there and the puck has cleared the distance all the way back to Bartholomew's cage. 59 seconds remaining in the power play. Puck is scooped back up by Frankie. Watch by Coveney as he looks as he's got Strong with him. He finds him. Walked in by Tyler Strong. Tyler Strong takes a sharp angle shot as the net again comes off the moorings. And I think that shot went off the post. So we're going to see it. It appears that at this point right now, and if they had Shaw Hockey Productions, they'd be able to tell if that was a goal. It was no goal as it did hit the post. And it lands on the far side. And once again, Shaw Hockey coming up with a critical Critical look there, but the referees I don't think are going to climb onto the concourse level here to see this. So Cooper doing a good job behind that too, just making sure that he gets his uh, skate to the post, and you can see it in this replay right here. 
gets it right up against there, and it's going to be a tough shot no matter what. So, uh, as you said, a great replay by Shaw Productions right there. And the puck wrapped around the dasher as it rolls 200 feet to Bartholomew's cage. There's 34 seconds remaining in the power play. As the captain, Savas Cole, works it back up through center as he sidesteps one check, can't sidestep two. Bouncing puck, it comes off sides. And Jeremy Muir jiggling the puck on the end of this stick. As the whistle blows, and with 13.22 remaining in this period and a two-goal lead, Valor's got 23 seconds more to kill on Owen Walsh's penalty. Walsh readies himself, and there's George Gwazdecki pointing to the ice. And that's where he's going, so with 23 seconds, we'll see where this puck lies at that time. Noah Feketi dishes the puck back to Morona, angles one off the, off the mid-ice boards, and it travels the distance. Puck is scooped back up by Strong, and Strong marches out from center, takes it into the Valor zone on the near side. Feketi with a good poke check there. Loose puck in front, Strong again. Bouncing puck, loose puck, jammed and shot off of Feketi's boot. Strong with the puck on the near side. One more time, that puck nearly pinballed in. And the puck gathered in over to the far side as Walsh is back on the ice. And we have a penalty, and it's going to be on Strong. So Strong takes a roughing call. And if you look at the last penalties, roughing, elbowing, and roughing for RV, they take their fourth penalty of the game. Devin Strong, who has two goals this game, takes that rough, and this one now comes at the 12.46 mark. Well, it's so interesting in high school hockey. You have all the momentum, and that quickly you can give all the momentum right back, and this Eagles power play is one of the most difficult power plays in all of hockey, so I, I worry for Ralston Valley in a situation like this, and I'm excited for a five up here. And so here we go, off the faceoff, the puck comes back out to center. And I heard a cross check there, so either way, it's two minutes up on the board. Back to the live action. Puck is poked back down into the near side corner. Chopped at, and Maddox Charles awaits it on the far side half boards. The puck is swept back to the Valor end. As Cooper Robinson comes well out, Aiden Owen watched by Rodriguez. As Rodriguez backpedals the puck down on the left-hand side, and Maddox Charles, with patience, takes it into the zone. Slides one around the dasher boards, back over to the right point. Aiden Owen thinks about it, finds Feketi, near side, near side, dot to the far side, shot, goal! Maddox Charles scores! Making it 6-3, to three. power play goal! Maddox Charles gets his second consecutive goal from Noah Feketi, it is 6-3! It's hard not to cheer on this broadcast, but that is a devastating power play, and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love how the Eagles execute when a mistake's made by another team. And there you go, Maddox Charles puts it away as, as that pass, that cross seam pass from Noah Feketi, as Feketi finds his line mate. And what, what chemistry those two have had here all year long, not just tonight. And so, back to the live action, a three goal lead, 11.49 to go. And back over to Larson, Larson's shot just whistles wide, peeling it off the boards, and trying to come up with the bouncing puck is Walsh, Walsh spinning in the near side dot, puck comes back out to center. And Jeremy Muir with the puck. And now Fowler's going to take another penalty. And it's Larson. And Walsh looked at the referee. Walsh was, <laughs> Walsh was just shaking his head saying, not me again. And no, it isn't. And this time it is Ben Larson. And again, high school hockey. We just talked about it. You have all the momentum in the world, and you're going to give an opportunity to go back down and let Ralston Valley be on the power play now. But this is what I love about high school hockey. You just never know what you're going to get out here. Ralston Valley with two minutes to work with. And they need it now, but the puck is poked back out to center. Scoop back up and recoiling is Frankie. Frankie, shadowed by Feketi, gives a drop feed. Rodriguez gathers it back in and hands it off to Tyler Strong. Strong 
Looks for Cole and a little bit disorganized here as Ralston Valley was really unable to regroup on that. Valor takes the puck away, tries to exit the zone over on the far side and making his first save of the game <laughs> was Trudeau Coffey from the bench as that puck bounced up and he tried to glove it out. Those are the replays we need on here. <laughs> as Trudeau Coffey over on the bench as he's backed up Cooper Robinson this entire year. As the puck is dropped to the right of Cooper Robinson. Valor is able to get a stick on it. And RV winds things back up. And with some speed coming down the right-hand side, hitting the brakes, there's Kennedy. Kennedy moves the puck back over to the far side as it's scooped up by Andrine. Andrine is disrupted at the blue line. And one more time, LaGrange will go back for RV. And one hands it up through center, drops it off. Puck is picked back up by Kennedy. Kennedy with a sprint, got a shot off. Puck, loose puck is picked up. Alfieri is able to get it back out to center, one on two. Alfieri tries to dance through a man, but it comes back to Bartholomew's cage. Typically, as he pokes it back over to Palak. Palak moves the puck back over to Petz. Petz stripped of the puck by Muir. As the loose puck in the neutral zone. Kennedy fanned on sending it in deep, but he follows his puck, and the puck back up to the point. Over on the far side, another fanning on the shot, so a couple of times there is Newmar. Newmar couldn't get the handle on it, as Valor has to back out of the zone. They do so in giving time. Shones feeds it back over to the far side, and a check by Walsh as he plants Palak as the bouncing puck rolls back out to center. Puck is poked back into the near side corner, and Simon Tarosian gathers it back in and scales one off the glass. It'll go the distance. I'm gonna head off the air. I appreciate you having me on. Thankful for all you guys have done for the Valor Eagles this season. Thanks for the amazing broadcast you guys put on. Thanks for being here for uh, tonight and hopefully seeing a state championship for the Eagles here. Brian, we appreciate you coming on, and thank you so much for taking the time and uh, giving us some insight there. Thank you very much. Thanks. And we're back to the live action as the we have 9.07 up on the board. Third period, Valor with a three-goal lead. Leading now the Mustangs as the puck is brought in offsides. And just in front of the scorer's box, Valor will set up and have another face-off here as RV looks on. So Owen Walsh looking back behind him as Walsh wins that face off and Brooks Wright takes a heavy check from Homer. Puck has moved back over to the right hand side. Larson sidesteps to check as he sends the puck over to the near side. Homer collides one more time with Brooks Wright as Tarosian hits the deck. This RV team putting some punishing blows on Valor trying to free the puck up but Valor maintains control. Tarosian from the left point moves it back over to the right point. A no and near side just misses the mark as he has Owen Walsh waiting for it. Walsh looked like an open Maddox Charles on that last power play. Get a wide open net and unable to get that pass, secure that pass. Back to the live action. Puck is maintained into the Mustang zone and Tarosian sends it up against the end boards as he takes a heavy check and battling for the puck over on the far side was Walsh. Bounces as Homer again looking for it as but no, it's right. Feeds it back up to Aiden Owen. Owen's shot is right on the doorstep. Larson with a backhander just misses the mark as Bartholomew scrambles back to the cage. Shot by Brooks Wright, and that one deflects into the far side corner. RV ices the puck as they need some relief with 7.43 remaining in this third period. And 
And with 7.35 remaining in the contest, RV looks to move the puck back out, and Frankie's got it. Frankie takes it into the slot, knocked off the puck, and Cooper Robinson objecting to it as Frankie took a bit of an extra shot there on Cooper Robinson. Now we get a good look at it as Frankie drove right down Broad Street here as he got sandwiched between a couple of players. Cooper Robinson had the puck. Frankie came in a bit aggressively there. And Cooper Robinson with palms up looking at the official, but he's not going to get that call here. It's 724 remaining third period and a three goal lead. And Frankie with the puck over on the far side half boards. Jams it up. Morona swats at it and is able to get the puck out of the zone as it rolls to the RV zone. We've got the whistle coming. 7-11 remaining third period. Shots on goal are 18-16 in favor of Valor. So relatively even in that respect. But the three-goal lead is what matters here. And RV with 7-11 remaining needs to double up their scoring. As Whitmore taps it into the corner, Frankie battling, tied up with Morona. Barnes is providing support. And pickpocketing from behind, and there's a shot as Devin Strong battling for it with RV. The shot, and Cooper Robinson makes the save and then clears the puck out of the out of harm's way. Puck over on the far side as Fekete takes it back into the zone, taken off. Maddox Charles just misses the side of the cage. Back behind Barnes. Barnes right over to Fekete, and it skips his stick. Puck is picked back up and recovered by Shones. Shones works past Whitmore, but Whitmore pickpockets the puck, picks it back over to Fekete, and feathers a pass to Barnes as he goes for a line change. Barnes sends one a dump in over to the near side half boards. And Devin Strong with the long pass. And you can see RV going for those long passes. And a little frustration there as Max Newman was with his hands up saying, you know, it's a tough pass to catch there, so. Newmar, the defenseman, out there for RV. Meanwhile, back to the live action, and the puck has moved back over to the right-hand side from the edge of the circle. The shot by Ladwig and covered and held by Bartholomew. Whistle there, 6.07 remaining. And you look at this game and how tight it was, and it was... And at the beginning of this third period, as we went in with a one-goal game at the end of second, it was 4-3. And Maddox Charles gets two successive goals and gives Valor a three-goal lead now. As they keep the pressure on, and RV needs a goal desperately at this point to draw within a couple. Mario Rodriguez versus Garrett Cubney. And off the faceoff, puck comes back over to the near side as Alfieri tries to dip the check. The loose puck is picked up, and it's a return check by Brooks Wright, and it's been quite a battle there as Brooks Wright levels Rodriguez. Wright had taken a pretty heavy check earlier in the period from Zachary Palak, and Wright was determined to get all of those two minutes. And I didn't see if it was a rough or perhaps a charge, but either way, Brooks Wright has a table for one. And there is 5.43 to go in the third period. RV's got a power play to work with. And thus far, they are zero for four. And this might be just what the doctor ordered as Cole takes it into the zone. Sized up by Aiden Owen. And Owen with the puck. Rifles it off the boards on the far side. Puck is held in and spinning away from traffic is Rodriguez. Rodriguez squares up his shot, picks up his own rebound, and sends it back to Cole at the left point. Cole, as it just comes out of the zone, as Cole took his eye off of it, as he was setting up to take a shot, and a good battle in front as Devin Strong and Aiden Owen were jousting in front of Cooper Robinson's cage. And cooler heads prevail. As 
this RV squad will uh, they will play a physical game and let you know they're there. And so with the puck is Tyler Strong. Strong. <laughs> Looks up ice. And coming away with the puck is Frankie. Frankie drags it back up to the point, hands it off to Cole. His shot goes off a shin pad and chased into the Zam corner. On the near side corner, collision of five players looking for the puck as Larson finds it and he crowbars it back over to the far side. Puck is held up there by Strong. In the zone, another shot and a save by Cooper Robinson. This time Morona makes sure to it as the puck bounces off of an RV player on the bench. The whistle there. Got a nice off face off in neutral zone. 4.25 to go in this third period. 39 seconds remaining in the power play. As RV gets another offensive zone face off and this time Tyler Shones will take it. Noah Fekete stepping in wins that face off. And another check was planted by Aiden Owen as he sent Zachary Palak to the deck one more time. So I think Valor's saying, if you want to play physical, we can play just as physical here. And working his way through over on the far side was Kennedy. Kennedy into the zone, but Valor is able to clear the puck back out. As Brooks Wright has 13 seconds to serve in the penalty box. Worked back up by Shones, and Shones over on the far side, taking off the puck at the blue line. Valor's able to clear it back out. That's going to do it as Brooks Wright is back on the ice and Valor is back to full strength. Kennedy taps it back, chases it back to himself, and it's Pallet with the puck on the near side. Pallet from the red line, can't get it in deep. Puck is scooped up and picked up and leveled there as Henry Barnes took a heavy shot. He skated right into, t into number, I believe that was number 66. That was Carson Petz. Uh, Barnes looking down just a little bit. But he bounces right back up. He's a tough guy. He's a hockey player. You never want to be helped off that ice. You want to get off on your own. And so all these players, both squads, played a heck of a game here this evening. Hard-hitting game. 3.23 to go in the contest. And off the faceoff, Carter Charles. Looking for that shot, gets tied up. Jeremy Mears' shot is wide. The puck ricochets up the half boards over to Lagwick. Tucked back down for Jenkins. Jenkins with a man in the middle. Shot scores. Fekete makes it 7-3. And Noah Fekete gets a beautiful pass from Jenkins. And Jenkins put it on a platter. Fekete with a quick little snapshot scores. Fekete when Jenkins gets the puck at the, and the, at the end boards. Passes it back up. Fekete worked his way down. And Fekete makes it 7-3. to three. And here you see Fekete walking in. And what a perfect pass under the stick. And Fekete finds far side of Bartholomew's cage. 7-3. to three. As Fekete... It's a beautiful goal. And it's good to see Jenkins get in on the scoring sheet there. As Andrew Jenkins, who had four tallies during the regular season, Noah Fekete had 10, and now he has two in the playoffs. So Noah Fekete, one of the leaders of this Valor team. Uh, gets on, gets a goal here in this championship game, making it 7-3. to 2.52 remaining in the contest is the Valor student body, all dressed in white, over on the far side, pressed up against the glass, as they've got 2.47 to go in this contest. So the puck back behind Valor's cage and trying to scoop it up, and Cooper Robinson will hang on to it as Devin Strong from behind the cage. Tried to take that. You look at such a turn of events. He was 4-3. And just at the beginning of that period, 
of that third period as Walsh took a penalty and RB had an opportunity to cut the deficit they were unable to and then Maddox Charles gets two goals and it's good night after that back to the live action the puck is sent back into the RV zone and it's backhanded back up to the near side Galushko moves it back to Larson Larson working out of the corner thinks about it Whitmore backs away out of the out of the out of the point Larson wraps it around the boards. Walsh yields. Puck is shot from the half boards over on the far side. And Morona's drive goes the distance. And back behind Cooper Robinson's cage. Puck is moved out by Valor as Chase Whitmore with a giveaway. The puck and a backhand just misses as Palak had stolen the puck. His backhander just misses the mark. Whitmore as it bounce off his body. Puck is picked back up by Galushko, stripped off his stick. Walking back in was Pets. Pets loses the handle. And the puck back to the RV blue line with 132 remaining in this third period. And another shot there by Pets. Bouncing off of it was Nicholas Morona. This puck in on Cooper Robinson, and Robinson keeps this play alive. And we're down to the final 118 as Morona winds his way through center and finds Alfieri just inside the blue line. Alfieri back pass to Brooks right. Right will take the shot. Loose puck in front. And Alexiev is able to clear the puck, but not out of the zone. Back on the right hand point to Rosian's pass. Tipped down to Walsh as we're down to the final minute. And you can hear the Valor student body singing. We're on the far side. And Simon Tarosian walks in. And the loose puck all the way back to Aiden Owen. The final 42 seconds of this contest is counted off here. Simon Tarosian moves the puck back over to Aiden Owen. And a little pitch and catch there as Aiden Owen shakes off the forecheck of Fallbearer. As Tarosian has it in, then we're down to the final 23 seconds. As Valor and a final check as Aiden Owen delivers a final message as Blaine Keller tried to give a check and Aiden Owen with a reverse check and then a final check as Keller one more time on Aiden Owen and Aiden Owen wisely skates away. And so the officials, the final three seconds and they stop it there. And there is Gabriel Kennedy Trying to get into it with Aiden Owen. And the officials are going to stop this with 3.4 seconds and call over, I believe, Keller. And perhaps, I guess not Kennedy. And so the faceoff will be deep. So 3.4 seconds remaining. So a little, little bit anticlimactic here for, for the championship call, but we're going to give it a go. 3.4 seconds, face-off in the RV zone as Garrett Coveney steps in to take the face-off. And off the face-off, that's it, as Valor skates back. They toss the skates. This gloves up in the air. Cooper Robinson awaits his teammates, and Valor has won the 2023 Chassa 5A State Hockey Championship. Congratulations to all the Valor players and Coach Gwazdecki and the entire coaching staff. Valor has won their third state title, defeating Ralston Valley 7-3. And with that, the Valor players emphatically cheer in front of their student body all dressed in white and a great championship for this team as they win as they win 20 games in a row what a what a season for Valor they lose their first game of the, of the season to none other than Ralston Valley and what a valid effort by Ralston Valley Ralston Valley the only team to defeat Valor this season defeated them the first game of the season, but Valor shuts the door and doesn't allow a defeat the last game of the season. They go on to win 20 games in a row after that. They defeated all comers at that point. Nobody 
could challenge Valor at that point. And this is quite a team, and it's led by seniors. We're going to talk a little bit about them. Noah Feckety, number 20. Henry Barnes, 27. Brooks Wright, Garrett Cubney, Alec Alfieri, Owen Walsh, Ben Larson, Simon Tarosi and Aiden Owen, Nicholas Morona, Chase Whitmore, and Jeremy Muir all on the ice tonight for Coach George Gwazdecki. As they line up and opposite of them, you got to give credit to Nick Spinder. This is a first year head coach. And Nick Spinder, who rallied his team, they win 11, 10 of 11 games to get to this championship game. And for Ralston Valley, they have, they should not hang their heads as they have come up against a Valor Christian team who has been in this championship game each of the last four years, winning three of them. And as the teams line up, and they ready themselves for the congratulations of the handshake line, Caleb Bartholomew, the goaltender and netminder for this squad, is first in line for Ralston Valley. Nicholas Morona for Valor Christian. As they make their way through, and Justin Saylor, who is the executive director for Chassa, awaits with the trophies for both of these teams. Owen, tough defenseman back there has <laughs> good handshake there with uh, some of uh, some of his rivals on RV and at the end of the game that's what you love about hockey is this scene. You love seeing this this handshake line every player and then the officials as well and the officials did a terrific job keeping this contest in check in an emotional game, a tough game for all these players on both sides. So it is a terrific scene, and we're going to have the trophy presentation momentarily. And Caleb Bartholomew, who played a heck of a game for this. RV squad shakes the hands of all the officials as he comes through. And again, the majority of these RV players played their youth hockey at the Arvada Hockey Association. It's a long tradition there, and they had a great support from their fans, and their student body came out in, as a show of force here this evening as well. And in the earlier game, Cheyenne Mountain wins their 16th state title. Cheyenne Mountain defeats Glenwood in triple overtime. So if you stayed for both, you saw quite, quite an evening of hockey here. As Valor lines up along their blue line. Please direct your attention to center ice for the presentation. And there's Nick Spinder as Nick Spinder talks to his team. And coming out is Savas Cole as well as Keller, Alexiev, and Cole Frankie. And Savas Cole with the runner-up trophy. It's not the trophy that he wanted with this RV squad. And there is Noah Feckety. Noah Feckety comes to center ice. Justin Saylor presents him the trophy. And Noah Feckety holds the trophy up above his head. He's converged on by his teammates. Everybody wants to touch that trophy up and over his head. And Valor gets to celebrate with a skate around and 
taking the trophy over to the fans and celebrating in front of the fans is Noah Fekete and they're gonna take their photo. Sometimes you take the photo with that scoreboard behind you, this time they take it and what what a terrific deal as they take it in front of the student body. Everybody gets into the photo on this one. It's truly a team effort at Valor. And as Brian Bond, the athletic director said, what a great support that they have. And you can see it here as the student body came out in force tonight to celebrate and to cheer on Valor for their third state hockey 5A championship title. And the fans love it. What a great scene. And we also want to thank our hosts here at Magnus Arena, the University of Denver. The University of Denver uh, starts their playoffs here coming up against Miami of Ohio with a best of three series. And so they will be on the ice here on Friday, Saturday, and if needed on Sunday. So we want to thank the University of Denver for the use of their facility here. This setting was perfect. Last year we were in Ball Arena and uh, we had a terrific view here from Magnus, a more, bit more intimate here. The players scattered around as they celebrate and reflect upon this moment, very special moment for these players. And Owen Walsh and Noah Fekete, along with Alec Alfieri, giving some thanks here for this championship season. Final score, Valor wins 7-3. They win their third 5A State High School Championship. We were glad to bring it to you here on behalf of Mike Shaw here tonight, all the replays. We have been honored to bring this season to you. I'm Manny Furtado for Shaw Hockey. As we close with a final photo over on the far side with the champions. Valor, our champions, one more time. Congratulations. Good night. <laughs>